thanks for stepping by my channel today. My name is Tammy and I own a small bath and body company here in Greencastle, Indiana. So today's soap is Alpine Cheer. I get this from Micah's and More. This is such a good scent. It just feels happy to me. I'm not the best at always describing scents and this one is a hard one for me, but it just is so uplifting. That's a good word, right? I am going to be making this kind of in a Christmas vibe. I'm going to be doing a white base with green and red swirls and I'm going to stamp on the soap. I have these little, this little tree stamp I got from Etsy. I also am thinking to pipe on the soap and I'm just going to make a soap guys. I hope you stay tuned to watch. 50% of my olive oil, I'm swapping that for either rice bran or safflower. This one is safflower because I'm out of rice bran. But it's just trying to keep these costs in check just a little bit is just crazy. I went and bought olive oil this weekend. And it has been a long time since I bought olive oil just because the last time I bought it, I bought a lot. <laughs> Costco, I used to get two of these for what, $25, $26. Now they're one for $29. One of these for $29. It's over doubled in price. I still a little cheaper for me to get it at Costco instead of paying for uh, shipping, but I haven't priced out the big, Soper's Choice has those big, I don't know, 30, 300 ounces or the, the cubes or whatever in the boxes. I haven't priced that out in a while. Those are a little bit more difficult to store and I always was making a mess every time I would pour out of it. I I don't like them, but if they're a lot cheaper, you know, per, per ounce, I may have to go to that. But that's the story of itself. Sorry, rant over. I know we are all feeling it. Okay, so I have Trial by Fire. This one is from Nurture Soap in my red pot. And then I'm trying the Snake Island I got from Mad Micah's. I've never tried it before, but it looks like a really pretty Christmassy green. I hope it holds true to that. And in here I have my um, lye water. Ooh, I'm sweating, guys. It's hot in here. I don't have my uh, Kaolin clay. Hang on. I use about one ounce of clay. Sometimes one and a half, but usually just around one ounce. I don't know how many teaspoons or tablespoons that is per ounce of oils or anything. It's about 0.6 of my recipe. For this size batch, I do use about one and a half ounces of sodium lactate. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. That may warm that up just a little bit. I'm planning on making a couple different soaps today. So I'm trying to keep everything organized. And that did, it warmed it right up to 77 degrees. It's probably, what, 60, 68 in here? No wonder I'm hot. It's usually much colder than this, but it is like ridiculously hot outside today. And I'm just pouring a little bit of my water. And that's 87. I love this trick. I don't, I, I, I think I came up with it. <laughs> I don't know. If you've seen this before, let me know. I've never seen it before. All right, I'm gonna blend this just to kind of mix in that clay. I'm gonna get those clumps out of there. I'm gonna add in the rest of my water. It is cloudy because I do have some powdered sugar and some citric acid in there. Just mixing it. In she goes, guys. I'm not going to take it too awfully far. And I'm going to put maybe a fair amount of soap in these pots because this is for not only, you know, maybe a hanger swirl, but it's also for my piping on top. I need my, I need more hands. It's August 1st and I'm making a Christmas soap. <laughs> I am ahead of the game and not usually, so it's a pretty good thing feeling for me to be this, this far forward thinking here. It 
And I still need to get my fragrance oil in here, so I need to make sure I'm saving room for all of that. All right, which one's which? That's red. I think I probably have too much color here, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I think this is a really pretty green. I like it a lot. And this is that trial by fire. I'm sure if I don't add enough, it'll be pink. But I don't want to like stain wash cloths or anything, so I'm trying not to add too much. I think that looks so good. And then I have some white for my main base here. I'm really struggling with my TD guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I've tried everything. I mean, I really want this to be good and white. Kind of flailing around with it. I have tried processing it in a Ninja Bullet. I've tried water. I tried oil. Nothing is seeming to get my soap very white. And maybe my colors are just to the point where there's nothing I can do. They're my soap colors. Fragrance oil. Ooh, look how yellow that is. I don't, it did say that it would discolor to a tan, didn't it? Mmm. This looks like it's got a little bit of racing with this green. It's got a little bit of texture here. I'm going to try to stir that out. It's only the green one. Well, maybe the red a little bit. Let me look at the white. The white looks fine. I currently use a gear tie. I'm waiting for my husband to make me a, a metal one. Alright. I think that's going to be good enough there. Not too many swirls. I don't want it to be too busy. What I'm going to do now is let these set up, stir them every once in a while, and then get them in bags, bags when it is time to pipe. Guys, I think it's been like 45 minutes. Everything was ready except for the green. I ended up putting that green in the microwave to heat it up, hoping that would help. And then I stick blended it for a while, hoping that would help. I think they're all kind of ready. My bad news is I, do, I only have one round tip, just the circle that was the same size that well that was the size I was wanting um which is whatever this size of a tip is that that round circle here uh, I only have one and probably because I just don't like that tip very much <laughs> so I can't do like the little pointy peat the points all over the bar like I was hoping to so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this because I don't know if I have enough of like all my colors. So I'm just gonna do that. Let me pull you in. And the only thing I'm not sure is, am I gonna do this randomly? I feel like I have a lot of white. Or if I'm going to kind of um, go on, I did a diagonal one time, let me show ya. And it was just green and white. 
back then. This is a lot of picking up and setting down. So I don't know if I have the patience to do this. Like that. And then maybe start with the green. Um, let's do maybe a white. And a red. And a green. So, I mean, I did kind of like that in a diagonal. And I thought that was really pretty. I just think I have too much piping for that. Um, but I may just kind of like fill it up a little bit. Like that. Maybe I'll do that. Make those a little bit bigger since I'm trying to fill this out a little bit. I don't know. I don't like this as much as I liked the one I did a couple years ago. Um, I don't think it's as pretty of a pattern as, as I had back then. We'll see. I'm just going to play with, play around and I may build it up and change things around. I don't know yet. I wonder, just playing guys, I wonder if I should do it this way. I like this better. Gold glitter in case I do a gold accent. Ah! All right. Cut it in a day or two. Let's take a look at that. I really like it. Now I did discolor a bit. That's not pure white, but you know, I think it looks really pretty. I like my piping job. Oh guys, look, <laughs> I like that. I think it's a really pretty uh, swirl. All right, let's get this on my tray here. This is the middle loaf. I think it, I think it looks really pretty. I'm happy. It's a, maybe just a tiny bit more swirls, more color on the inside than I was thinking I wanted. I think I wanted more white just so that it wouldn't be too busy. So that part of it, I just love the top and I love the gold glitter. The extra swirls on there is gonna take away from the little Christmas tree stamp I have. 
Now I cut this in logs a couple days ago, so it's been sitting in its logs, um, in the log for a while. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And let's just do it this way. Let me see if these are ready. So I have my Christmas tree. I have like, I think this is called a plumber's mallet, but I don't know. I've had it forever. I am going to just, oh, you know what? I probably should get a little bit of saran wrap. Oh yeah, that's not going to be seen. Hang on. You know, I just, I don't know. It's too, it's too busy. This is not the right soap because I made this too busy. You can't even see it. Even me looking and knowing it's there, it, it looks like nothing. Here's my thought. I do have, let me see. I kind of want these to stay in their, their order here, there. I do have another soap that I'm planning on making. I have all my fragrances pulled for uh, the next few weeks of making, but this is Berry Merry Christmas. So I think what I'm going to do is make this and use the stamp with this and try to design a much more simple color, whether I just do one color and do something fun on the top to keep it from being too boring. I don't know yet, but I think I'll hold off on the stamp and not stamp these. It's just too busy. And that is something I tried to tell myself not to do, and I did it. Guys, I'm going to clean them up in a couple days, and we'll look at them a little bit closer. I'll pick some good ones out for us to look at. I have let them set for probably three weeks at least now, so that any discoloration that was still going to happen could happen. So I would say the white isn't quite as the bright white I would have preferred it to be. It's quite muted, but the swirls are so pretty. What do you think, guys? I am a fan of this soap. I think I did a really good job piping. I left too much for the top. Typical. Typical Tammy. Uh, but the swirls are pretty. Let me know what you think. I'm super, super happy with the piping and the design. And the scent is, one more time, really, really good, guys. I like it. Now, I also just made um, my sparkling pine and bergamot that I make almost every year. And it's similar to that scent, actually. The sparkling pine and bergamot is a little bit more pine forward. So there's that. They're both very, very good. All right, guys, I need to put the soap away and move on with my life. So I'm going to stop smelling it. I still have to get pictures. Another typical Tammy moment. So it's up here waiting for me to get pictures. So maybe this weekend I can get all of my pictures done. There's a lot. <laughs> Thanks for being here and I will see you next week.